These days, there are so many game engines to choose from, you always find one that will fit the game you want to make. It's too convenient. So, how about we do it in Minecraft? Can Minecraft be a game engine? Let's test this by recreating Pong in an actual game engine Godot and in Minecraft to compare them. Pong is a very simple game, that's why I chose it. But that does not mean it's easy to recreate, as I will soon find out. Okay, and maybe because I'm a bad programmer, but it. that's not the point. You know, I bet my Minecraft character is absolutely just, just completely overwhelmed by the fact that I have to do it in Minecraft. Okay, I, I don't even know where to begin at this point, like, but I've got an actual game engine here, um, Godot. Okay, well. I haven't used this program in a long time, so that may be a problem, but just... Well, it's gonna be a lot easier than doing it in Minecraft, that's for sure. Alright, let's just make the paddles first, okay? Just, you know... There we go, I made the paddles. Okay, so, okay, so we can move the paddles now. I just remembered it was called paddles and not pings. Well, now I need to make them move. Actually... I could use an armor stand to represent the position and then just um, execute at that armor stand and send it to white wool and then uh, so this might be actually possible. It crashed, great. Just do it. Oh, it does. Oh, it's moving. Okay, now it bounces. Okay, so we can now move the paddles. Now I gotta do it for the other side. Alright, now for the hard part, which is the ball. Alright, so the ball. Right. Let me just create like uh, a ball X and ball Y, so. And then maybe, and somehow have the have the ball be the the value of the of the scoreboard somehow. You know, in Godot, you just had to do a rigid body two D, and then just have collisions at the borders and have a bounce. But here, I have to do everything from scratch. Like I have absolutely nothing. Okay, here we go. Oh yes, it works. Okay. Okay, now we can play Pong. Very slow Pong. Actually, it's getting slower. Oh, wait, I know. Okay. There we go. Now I have X and Y. Whoa. Yeah, it is X and Y. Okay. Okay, now, but the problem is... It can go through the walls. Seriously, what the heck is- Okay, I I'm getting scared now. There you go, it doesn't work. You can't go in them now. Now, I think it's time to deal with the whole bouncing thing, and it'll go diagonally and stuff. Alright, alright, when you lose the game now, it, it just closes the game, okay? Yeah, I wanted it to just drop crash, but it, it crashed everything, so... Yeah, I didn't do that. There are eight directions the ball can move in. So, I guess I'll need to create create them here. And then... Actually, there's like 16. Because it could be going this way or that way, so it'll be 16. No, actually, it will still be 8 because this is like one thing like uh what was it called southwest yes yeah, southwest and um northeast are the same thing pretty much that it's yeah it's one yeah so it's still it's still gonna be eight that's pretty good right 
Oh, here we go. The paddles don't. What? Okay. The 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 bouncing might not actually be as hard as I um, thought. Okay, so the green ones are what it detects, and then it changes direction. Um, so this might actually be the one. Let me get rid of this. When I connect this redstone block to these red uh, command blocks, that will bounce and move around. No. There. Okay. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh my god! All right, I guess it's finished then. So if it just if it touches the red, then it just resets. All right, here we go. This is more of a challenge. Um, okay. No, I died. Okay, I did it. Kind of. No, no, not kind of. I did it. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. It worked. <laughs> this looks so long. Like, I, this was meant to be like just almost a joke or something, but like, this took like an hour. <laughs> um, you know, I I would have you know added some special effects and stuff, but considering, oh, uh, but considering this already took an hour, I think that would take about five hours so i'm not going to do that well if this took one hour then um the minecraft one will probably take about you know a hundred hours oh my god I, I died again so can minecraft be a game engine yes but i i don't know why you would ever do this like yeah this took me three hours to do which is three times slower than why didn't get though? But to be fair, I was garbage at it. Okay, but to be fair, you would you could probably make home like five minutes if you're better than me. In like a proper game engine or something. But I have to say, I'm happy with this. Even if you can even if you can literally just do nothing and win. Doesn't matter. But I still learned some stuff from this. It's like going from a high level programming language to a lower programming language, like Godot to Minecraft. Well, my Minecraft isn't exactly a programming language, but as you saw, it can be used to create games. So it's, it counts, okay, I suppose. So high level programming languages are generally easier to use, and low level programming languages are harder to use. So then why should you ever use a low-level programming language? Because it gives you more control of how you know, a program or a machine works. While a high-level programming language just get rid of all that stuff. Like in Godot and in Minecraft, I suppose. And that's it, that's the end of this video. Um, I have to say for 5 seconds so that I can have end screen stuff. I mean, um, if you like this video, you should you know, subscribe and like the video, or comment, or, or do something else, just, just, just watch another video after this, okay? Just, goodbye.